I just like what Sergio does um, on a personal level, but also in the pool. And I think he inspires me to be the best version that I can be on a day-to-day -day basis. We always knew this was going to be a trial, right? I hadn't been in Singapore training for over a decade and coming back um, with a different mindset and more matured, I knew it was always going to be hard. I don't think it's the coaches here. The coaches here do a great job. They're one of the best coaches in the world. And I still believe that. I know I said that a lot coming back. Sometimes if a place is not for you, it's just not for you. As an athlete, it's very individualized. You know, what might work for someone that's been here um, his entire life might not work for me just because of the things that I'm exposed to, um, things that I'm used to, not just in the pool, but you know, life in general outside, your lifestyle. So I think I always found a hard balance between pushing in the pool, like the push and pull between in the pool, outside the pool, and how to balance it with certain things given, okay, more obligations outside the pool, um, more scrutiny under the microscope a little bit more, which is part of the territory, you know? Um, but at the same time, I like that element of privacy, right? <laughs> I like being like, you know, in Australia or the US where, yeah, man, we can go at it in the pool, but outside the pool, um, we don't have to think about swimming. Um, we don't have to talk about swimming. We don't have to be in this swimming circle. I feel like in Singapore, it's like that all the time. I walk, walk out, if I meet someone new, they're like, oh, how's swimming? How's this, how's that in the pool? I feel like all of that just revolves and comes back to swimming all the time. Like it's tiring. So having that change of atmosphere is something that I'm really looking forward to getting back to and the kind of atmosphere I thrive in. Like I lost like five or six kilos, but good weight. And right now I'm just like killing it in practice. Um, it's really been a turnaround since the last six or seven weeks uh, since Philippines. And did I think that I, if I could get to this point that quickly, probably not. It bothered me a little bit. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, like I had people like texting me about it and asking if I was okay, but the topic still comes up, right? You know, I didn't get angry with it because in part it's true. Like I was out of shape and I wasn't where I needed to put myself to at least give my, myself a chance to perform. And you can't run away from that. At the same time, did it fuel me? Yes, absolutely. But also I think the most important thing is I was sick of swimming so slow. I mean, I was sick of feeling like a slob that I really wanted to make the right change and not because you know, a bunch of people were on me about that. My kicking wasn't where it needs to be. And secondly, weight factor. Um, put on a bit of weight. It's like, okay, a Formula One car, if they're off by half a kilo, they're in trouble. You know that? I was off by five or six kilos. I'm in big trouble. Of course, like everyone that goes to the Olympics, most of them want to win. If not, why do we do this every day? But if there's one thing I can be honest with myself, it's not getting a gold medal. It's being the best version as I can be on that day where I need to step up and race. And the rest, faith will decide, right? Like, all you can do is control the outcome of your swim. That's it.